You are watching the Nike EYBL Scholastic at the U.S. Steel Laporte Invitational. Tonight, the third and final of our three games on the docket for today. A top 15 matchup between Wasatch Academy out of Utah and IMG Academy out of Florida. Matchick alongside. A lot of points. I expect this game somewhere in the mid 70s, low 80s. Starting lineups. Brought to you by Nike Academy. Trying to get that look inside. Little back cut. Cannot get that one to fall. That was Chase McCarty. And then on the other side, it's Darius Acuff. Mari Allen in the top 30 small forward with oh. a nice move with the left hand. Now that's how you use a Euro. Ekwe's doing damage in the paint right now for Wasatch. 6'10 power forward from Nigeria. His fingerprints all over this game. McCarty inside the Houston side E. Well inside, left hand, no, yes. Rebound basket, Augustine Ekwe. Ekwe. Eye on 50 in the white, Kareem Stagg. We saw him make some highlight dunks at City of Palms. Donnie Freeman. Ekwe. Ekwe again. Shooters roll, got to be. Jonas Garcia. McCarty, extra pass. A cup. Oh, yeah. Well, the Chris Nuuli with the basketball. Pull up, free throw line. Yes. Impressive. Technically, basis. But he's got a great intensity level about him, great focus and work ethic, and he's starting to really blend in right now at IMG. Shot clock winding down, Mobley recognizing oh. that, the Plinko chip rattles in. You know, Mobley misses, Nuuli fights for that, what a good rebound there from Tony Nuuli, the step through, oh yeah! Chris on the bench, Tony in the game. Yeah, more dribbling on that possession than passing for IMG. Way outside, Brown, splash down. Tough step back, Jay. Ball pulled out of the basket. 17 points in the second quarter for IMG, 28 in the first quarter. And their offense needs to be a little bit more fluid and get some movement. Cuff looking inside. Roots nearly lost the handle. Spins toward the middle. Nearly fell over. Freeman has the basketball. Roots. Nuuli picking up where he left off in that first half. He's got 14. For shot. And I think IMG could be very good in transition if they can get the stop and go. They got athletes, they got skill, they got highly ranked players. But they've been stagnant here in the offensive end in the third quarter. Inside the nice feed, that's the way to do it. Can I roots? They got the talent to score and finish. Fisher Brown cannot find the bottom there. Sliver here for IMG inside again. Another pass. Donnie Freeman. Love the Donnie cut by Freeman Donnie Freeman. Freeman. In. Yeah, just you know what? When your man can't find you, go to the basket. The ball will find you. Harwell. No, oh, come oh. on! You stop that right now. Isaiah Harwell answering with the three and the foul. What was his Chipotle order again? The <laughs> steak simple. burrito? <laughs> the steak bowl. Yeah, guac rice. A little queso. number three, Cole Serta. Playing hard, but he is. One of the top prospects 
in the class of 2025. 18 points. Bunch of schools are in on him, if you can imagine. Five star. Number three shooting guard and uh, Darius Acuff Jr. Trying to reassert himself here into this game with three minutes to go in the third. And I really believe that Darius Acuff could score at any time in the game when he wants to. Like if he puts his mind to it and has spacing on the floor, he's one of the better one-on-one -on -one players in all of high school basketball, regardless of class. He's got shiftiness, he's got range, and he's got toughness. <laughs> Mobley to Equay. Defense came to him, so he found the open man. IMG needs some stops right now. They need two or three consecutive stops. And that's not going to do it. Isaiah Harwell, 20 points on the night to lead all scorers. Roots, right hand is good, and the foul. A nice take, recognized there was a direct path to the basket. Put it in a 30 piece. Five on the shot clock. Roots, kick out, Freeman, three, gotta have it. Big. Let, let's see if IMG decides to pick up full court or do some trapping. They've got to speed this game up. As talented as Wasatch is, you got to get them out of their comfort zone. And you've got the length and the athletes to do so. Really? Hand off here to Harwell. Harwell left alone. Ekwe nearly got that rebound. Big yeah, that possession was here for IMG. Acuff, step back three. Brown with the rebound. See, I think if you're Acuff, I understand that you have the green light, but you have to read the possession, read the score. If you're trying to make a comeback, you can get that shot at the end of a shot clock. I would have liked to see them work for a better look. Newley, defended by Serta. Serta tried to draw a foul. Acuff with the rebound. Right, this is where he's dangerous. Acuff. Harwell, the rebound, pushes it ahead to Brown. And Fisher Brown has had a really terrific game for Wasatch. Almost an unsung hero type game. You know, you don't look at him on the scouting report and say, we got to stop him. But, well, he's got to try to get others involved, and that's part of being a point guard. If you're going to be a true point guard, you have to know how to get others involved and run an offense. Nice. Hard. Shooting guard. Pass to Equay. They're back up 13. We'll get a break next whistle. Freeman, good look inside. That was a nice little cut there from Quinones Garcia. Serta, extra pass. Roots, no. Fisher Brown. He just breaks your back. Fisher Brown just is really ready to shoot the ball. But the ball movement was terrific. Three ball answered at the other end from Donnie Freeman. Timeout IMG Fisher Brown. What can Brown do for you? He can extend the lead. Making sure the ascenders are descending. The Nike EYBL Scholastic at the U.S. Steel Laporte Invitational is brought to you by Nike, only basketball, by U.S. Steel, building the future of American steel, and by the Army National Guard. The next greatest generation is now. Goldsburg, Ohio, moved to Las Vegas prior to his freshman year. From Las Vegas to Utah this past summer. Donnie. Freeman. Donnie Freeman cannot be stopped. 27 points, 10 point game. Fisher Brown, extra pass. Here's Harwell. Harwell, Brown's been doing it all night. That one a little short. That's exactly what IMG wanted to see happen. That one rims in. Eight point game. How should you be operating here if you're Wasatch? 
holding the ball. If there's not gonna be any traps, there's no reason to attack. You want you want to milk it until the last 10 seconds go into your offense. Now you see IMG with a little bit of a trap, but you gotta really trap the ball hard to make Wasatch play faster. Brown does it again! Stone cold Fisher Brown. And puts the hammer down. And Isaiah Harwell. This is that one with 30 seconds clear of the finish. What a performance for Wasatch Academy, shooting 55% from the floor. They've hit 12 threes. Fisher Brown has hit four of them. Matt, his shot preparation is terrific, meaning he's always prepared to shoot the ball. His feet line up, his hands are ready, his eyes are on the rim. The mechanics, beautiful. 6'5", about 160 pounds. Needs to go to Chipotle after the game. <laughs> Double everything to gain some weight. This young man is, has not been offered yet by the high majors, but I'll tell you what, he's a high major shooter. Fisher, I'll take you to Chipotle after the game. I'll introduce you to my friend Bobby Queso. And Tony Guac. That's right. Wasatch Academy with a 13-point win over IMG Academy. Isaiah Harwell with 22 points to lead five players in double figures for the Tigers. Yeah, we said it was going to be a high-scoring game, and it certainly was. Wasatch was terrific all game long offensively. 